And also, it, it, people have been out to dinner, and I guess a lot of it is tradition, uh, where they come and they open the bottle of wine, and you're the guy who ordered it, so they will come over and make a nice little presentation and put a little bit in the glass, and you don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> they swirl it around, they yep. smell, and they're like, yeah, okay. Uh, yep. What Really, what are you looking for when you do that? I, I so don't here's know what's happening. Uh -huh. You ordered a wine. Yeah. The waiter went to get it. He came back out. And he shows you that. Your job is to make sure that it's the wine you're asking for, the vintage you're asking for, and the specific variation you're asking for. So, for example, on certain wines, there'll be a normal version that'll be $100 and reserve that'll be $1,000. You want to make, if you accept the reserve, you accepted yeah. the, the $1,000 bottle. <laughs> exactly. And that has exactly. happened in, and you've accepted that check. So, yeah. you want to make sure that it is the thing that you're asking for and that they didn't swap a vintage because vintage, especially on good quality wine, it matters. It mm -hmm. will change dramatically from year to year. So, you want to make sure that that wine is what you think it is. Then it's going to be opened and they're going to show you the cork. Generally, you want to make sure that cork isn't completely falling apart or that it doesn't smell uh, like, a, like a wet dog or like a cardboard box. Ooh. None of those things will automatically mean the wine is flawed, but they are things that might tell you that now I got to pay a lot more attention yeah, because there's up. something, <laughs> something possibly wrong yeah. here. They're, they're, they're a blinking yellow light um, yeah, okay. as you're driving down the wine road. Yeah. Then it's, it's going to pour the sample and it should be poured for the person that ordered. Right. Um, that person then is tasting the wine, not to decide whether or not they like it, but to decide whether or not it is flawed in some way. And the common flaws will be something known as um, being corked, which is um, pretty complicated in terms of the technical side of it, but it means that the wine is, is damaged by, by the cork in a way that, that a percentage of all wines under cork are damaged and that it will smell off in a way that is cardboardy. And we all know what sort of cardboardy or musty books yeah. at grandma's house right. or something like that. And if it is flawed in that way or in a way called being matterized where it actually smells and tastes like a wet dog or like feral ferret in the rain or something yeah. like that, mm. then you kick it back and they should bring out the same bottle in a, a different bottle of that same wine because a wine being corked is part of what it means to be wine when wine is put under a cork a percentage of those are going to be flawed it doesn't matter whether you're talking about a ten dollar bottle or a ten thousand dollar bottle a percentage of those wines are going to be flawed mm -hmm. and in a restaurant environment part of why you pay a significant markup over what you would pay at a retail store is that they are going to make sure that wine is correct and they should take it back, no questions asked, boom, and, there's, and bring out the same bottle. You should never be like, oh, this wine was corked, get me something else off the list. No, because that's, it's, there's nothing wrong with the wine, there's nothing wrong with that bottle of the wine. Yeah. And that's the process that is happening with, at the dinner table. Yeah. So the guide, uh, even if you're not really uh, knowledgeable that if it just smells and you know off, there's some. I mean, just from your own palate, that there's something yep. wrong. It, it's those it two things: the, the the feral animal or the cardboard box. Yeah, those are things mind, that any of us can um, identify. And it, and if it's subtle and you don't recognize it, then that wine's okay for you and go ahead and drink it and it's not a problem. But if you do recognize it, send it back. They any restaurant worth its salt and almost any restaurant in the world will totally swap it out. No problem. 